Hey guys, and welcome back to a another video from Socially Experimented Gaming, and I'm Matthew, and nobody really cares about all that information, but you care about my opinion on the Smash Ballot votes for characters. Now, I'm using this... This isn't the official Smash Ballot poll, but I'm going to be using this poll that someone made, like a fan-made poll, to see where... Um, most, most, mostly who wants what characters and what characters are being voted for the most. So I'll show you guys real quick. So this is the poll. And you might not be able to see, but it shows the characters and what percent of people voted for which character. And I'm going to be using that. Yeah. So the first character, oh yeah, I'm going to be doing the top 10 characters, I don't know if I said that, but I'm just going to be doing the, the first 10 characters that's been, that's been voted for most, mostly on this ballot, or vote poll, whatever you want to call it. Number one is Shovel Knight. Now, I haven't played any of Shovel Knight's games, I don't know how many games Shovel Knight has, but I do know a lot of people have been wanting Shovel Knight to be in Smash 4. And he is currently number one on the vote poll, so I do think there's a high chance of Shovel Knight being in Smash 4. But I don't particularly per particularly literally want Shovel Knight to be in Smash 4. But if he was in Smash 4 as a DLC, I wouldn't be mad at all. Because he's he has a very cool character design and I think a lot of people would be happy with him. Number two King K. Rool from Donkey Kong. Um, I'm pretty sure, if you don't know, King K. Rool is the main antagonist in a lot of Donkey Kong games. And I love Donkey Kong, and I think he'd be a great character to add in, especially that he's, he's he'd be a heavyweight character like Bowser and King Dedede, somewhere around there, and I think um, he'd be cool for a, for a heavyweight character DLC to be put in. Because not many people like heavyweights, and I think he could be a really good heavyweight character. Um, yeah. Number three is Snake. Now, Snake was in Brawl, or that's when he was introduced, but he wasn't brung down to Smash 4. And I know a lot of people are mad about that, and a lot of people are happy about that, that Snake isn't in Smash 4. Because Snake is either a character you really like, or you really don't like. And I... I don't... I don't exactly like him, but he was already in a Smash game, and he wasn't that bad, so I think if they brought him to Smash 4, it wouldn't be horrible. I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with it. Number, number, number four is Isaac from Golden Sun. Now, Golden Sun is a fairly old game, um, and I had no idea who Isaac was. Everybody wanted Isaac to be in Smash 4 before... DLCs even came out before even before Smash 4 even came out. People were like, oh my gosh, I want Isaac in Smash 4. And I had no idea who Isaac was, so I went and looked and I played a Golden Sun game for the Game Boy, I think. I'm not sure, Game Boy Advance or just game the original Game Boy. But it was for an old game that I have not played, I got pretty far in the game being that it was me, because I don't really go too far into old games that are slow paced. And I think Isaac would be an amazing character for Smash 4, actually. Alright, we went through Shovel Knight, King K. Rool, Snake, Isaac. Now, number 5, Wolf. Wolf was in Brawl just like Snake was, and he wasn't brought into Smash 4. And the thing with Wolf is they already have Falco, they already have Fox, so they're adding another character from Star Fox. And it makes sense for them to have the third character as a bad character, sort of, like an antagonist, whatever. Um, but personally, I'd rather have Crystal from Star Fox Adventures. Um, Star Fox Adventures was an amazing game, and if she was added... I, I'd want Crystal added more from Star Fox than I'd want Wolf to be added. The next one, number six, is Ice Climbers. Okay, Ice Climbers is a really different character, being that there's two characters, and I know you don't have full control over Nana, I think that's her name, the female part of Ice Climbers, but...
But I, I just, myself, I didn't like Ice Climbers a lot, and I, I don't want to see them brung back into Smash 4. I hope they don't get brought into Smash 4. Now, number 7, I think, is Bayonetta. And Bayonetta is an amazing character in her game, okay? She, she has, like, a bunch of high-tech stuff, and I think she'd be, she'd be really related to how Snake plays, I'm assuming since she has a lot of gadgets and weapons and all this stuff, but she's probably one of the characters that I want more than all the other ones that I've talked about so far. She's, she's high on my list for people I want added in Smash 4. Next is Inkling. <sighs> Inkling. From whatever that game is called, I don't know if it's called Inks, whatever, whatever that game is called, where you could turn into a squid and you have to paint the area, the battlefield, whatever it's called, with your paint, and whoever has the most paint um, covered in the area, whoever... Like, if you're green, right? You have to paint the most green you can on the area, and if your green has a higher percent over the area, then you win. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't really want that character put in Smash, but I'd see why they would add her, since it w this game was really hyped up, and it's a Nintendo game, so it makes sense that they would add her. All right. Number 9. Okay, this is number 9. I know that. I might have gone off count somewhere. But number 9, Waluigi. Waluigi is the only character that I actually voted for on the Smash ballot. Mainly because I was bored, but I also want to see Waluigi because... They have Mario, they have Luigi. They have Wario, why not have Waluigi? I mean, I know he's an assist trophy, but that doesn't matter. They could use... Um, his tennis racket, all the stuff that he uses for his, his trophy could be part of his moveset, so I think he'd be an awesome character to add into Smash 4. Some of you might not agree with me, whatever. Uh, number 10 is Rayman. Now, Rayman, uh, he has fairly old games, fairly old games, and a lot of people want Rayman in Smash 4, I'm not sure why. It might have been because there was like a leak saying that he would be in Smash 4, but that actually hasn't actually come true, so now people are like, oh, Rayman's a, a good character for Smash 4, and now people really want Rayman in Smash 4, and there's just a lot of, a lot of, like, detective kind of work that people have done to find out that they think Rayman will really be in Smash 4, and will he be in Smash 4? I don't know. We'll have to see. But that was my, the top 10 ballot list, and what I think of it, what my opinion is on it. Thank you for watching. If you didn't agree with me, I'm sorry. If you did agree with me, subscribe. And if you didn't agree with me, actually, you should skip, subscribe too. But still, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Go watch my other videos. Hop on to my real life channel if you want. Goodbye.